So I'm here today to um, kick off the NXP Smarter World Tour European version. Uh, behind me I've got our, our wonderful IoT truck that we've all been working on for months. Uh, this is going to be touring around uh, customers, partners and communities. This program is uh, coming to life really because of our sponsors uh, and our sponsors of this program are Arrow, uh, EBV, Silica, Fonel uh, and of course our security experts Greenhills are on board with us as well. Um, there are 130 demos inside this track. It's, it's quite incredible and, and it's split into different areas inside. So 86 cities, 193 days. This is a big undertaking by any measure and we're delighted to be uh, rolling it out uh, and joining in the, the whole of the world tour that's covering every continent. What we have here is 130 demos in six different technology areas showing our story in the IoT. Here we have our 77 gigahertz radar demo based on the MPC5775 and the MR2001 radar module. We can track through the module the movement and speed of people as they move in front of the radar. And you can see an example here as it picks me up and tracks me with a second object to my right already shown in the radar. The UMAN AVB demo allows us to synchronize four full HD video streams around the truck or play videos independently with an HMI touchscreen interface to drive the video inputs. Did you know in today's car body applications we can replace traditional mechanical relays with power MOSFETs reducing size and weight on the vehicle? Here we have the secure mobile medical and wearables panel where we have over 30 products on display in this technology area. Everything from nine degrees of freedom sensing, as shown here, medical products, an array of wearable technology, running watches, activity monitors, a smart baby monitor that actually monitors that your child is within the baby seat um, and connects to your smartphone. If you pull up in the parking lot and forget your child is in the back because they are sleeping, your smartphone will remind you on leaving the vehicle. RF inventory control tags to allow you to count your inventory without physically touching it. Smart activity monitor for dogs called the whistle where you can actually see the activity of your dog throughout the day when it is playing, when it is sleeping, etc. And the DNAS blood glucose monitor which allows your smartphone to actually measure your blood glucose levels removing the need for you to carry a separate device to do so. So here in the smart home and building area, we have over 30 demonstrations of many technologies that you may find in the home today or in the future. For example, uh, smart connected thermostats such as this Nest device connected over Wi-Fi to a smartphone application and linked into the smoke and fire detectors within your home. Through to the control of the lighting in the house over Bluetooth and Bluetooth low energy, turning the lights on, off, changing the colors, etc. Smartphone applications that when connected with the packaging on, uh, from your products will take you automatically to a website in order to reorder consumables. Through to the control of your sound system over Bluetooth where you can actually connect your smart device simply by touching it on the Bluetooth speaker. And an example of a smart intelligent home system that allows you to monitor and also control the home where you can connect into an individual room, control the lighting, turn off sockets, or even monitor your security surveillance system. Here in the smart cities and energy area, we have many examples of technology in use today or could be used in the future in our cities and around us. For example, the smart bus shelter sign, running on very low energy from energy harvested based systems, through to vehicle to vehicle and vehicle to building communication, whereby a car and the driver can be made aware of the environment around it, such as traffic lights ahead that are about to change, or emergency vehicles approaching. Through to a live example of connected metering and measuring energy, whereby in the truck we have three phase metering and one phase metering and can dynamically see the power consumption as we are using it. So here in the smart networks area, we have many examples of how our technology today can be used in the internet. From industrial gateways or smart gateways in the home, combining data from sources such as Zigbee, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth together, passing that data and packaging it up into devices that actually drive the very backbone of the internet itself. All the way through to access points 
whether they are industrial, commercial, or ones for the home. And, and again, through to our very latest devices where we actually are able to run live in the truck benchmarks to show you the performance of these devices.